Alright, so in this um, video, we are given three vectors, V1, V2, and V3. So the question is, find a basis for the row space ataupun find a basis for subspace spanned by these vectors. So when it says, find a basis for the row space spanned by these vectors or find a basis for the subspace spanned by these vectors, so these vectors in the matrix form would be these vectors, no need to transpose, V1, V2 and V3 acts as the row of the matrix. So 1, 2, 1, 0 and V2, 2, 5, 1, negative 1 and V3, negative 1, 1, negative 4, 2. So we do the elementary row operation until we get the um, until one three zero zero one zero one negative one zero and zero 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 one it's a four by four matrix all right so we can notice the leading one which is here here and here so we can get the basis for row space is 1, 3, 0, 0, this is R1, R2, which is 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and lastly, R3 is 0, 0, sorry, 0, 0, 1, which is each row that has the leading one that is the basis for the row space of matrix A. This is the basis for the row space spanned by these factors. Okay, now, so what about the basis for column space of A? This is matrix A, and after ERO, we have this matrix which is 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1. So each column that has the leading one is column 1 here, column 2 here, and column 4 here. So we can say that C1 prime is is 1, 0, 0 and we have C2 prime is 3, 1, 0 and C3 prime is 0, 0, 1 based on the matrix that we have performed the ERO okay so the corresponding basis is we have to go back to the original matrix which is 1 0 0 from here c1 is 1 2 negative 1 so basis 1 2 negative 1 and we have c2 look at the c2 2 sorry c2 is 2 5 1 and c4 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 is 0, negative 1, 2. So, these are the basis for column space of A. So, we know that row space has 3 bases and column space also have 3 bases. So, rank A, rank A is equal to the dimension of row space and column space which is 3. So rank, rank A is 3. 
Alright, so we know that rank A is 3 because 3 is the dimension for the row space and dimension for the column space because rank A is equal to the dimension of row space and dimension of column space. So dimension of row space and column space is 3 because both of them have, have 3 bases. So what is the nullity of A? Nullity of A is given by number of column column minus rank A. So, number of column, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 minus rank A, 3. So, 1. Nullity is 1, rank is 3. Thank you. Alright, so what about if we are given a matrix A and we are, we are being asked of the basis for the null space of A. So null space, we always remember that null space is the solution space. So we have to uh, do this matrix in this form, AX equals to 0, 0 matrix. So we make it like here, augmented matrix. And we do the elementary row operation until we have uh, this form of matrix. And this have the leading one. Okay, stop. And then we uh, inspect from here. We can see that from row 3 here, X4 is equal to 0. Settle. So next, from R2, we have 1, negative 1, right? So X2 is equal to X3. And from row 1, we have X1 equals to negative 3 X3. So here we can say that let X3 be T. So we... Um, arrange it like here S1, S2, S3, S4 equals to alright, S1 is S1 is negative 3, S3 so negative 3, T because S3 be T and S2 is equals to S3, T again S3 is T and S4 is 0 so T negative 3, 1, 1, 0 so we can say that the basis for the null space of A is this column matrix negative 3, 1, 1, 0 thank you